Yo mga sir, kamusta? October 18, 2014 Nang matikman ang The Filipino Flash Ang kauna-unahang pagbagsak nito sa laban Sa kamay ni Axman Pero bago yan Kung ngayon ka palang po napadpad sa akin channel Ay huwag nyo namang kalimutang mag-like At subscribe Well, o nga po hindi ito ang unang talo ni Nito Ngunit, ito naman po ang unang pagkakataon Na may nagpabagsak sa kanyang boxing karir Ito nga po ay si Nicholas Walters o mas kilala sa tawag na Axman May record na 24 panalo Walang talo At ang 20 dito ay natapos by a knockout So umpisa pa nga lang po ng laban Medyo nagtatansyaan pa ang dalwa Parehas nag-iingat Dahil alam ng dalawa Na bawat isa sa kanila ay may knockout power Round, he was trailing on two scorecards to the Martinian And now Donaire goes down on what appeared as though It could have been a right hand punch for Walters But Raul Caiz rules it a slip and there's no knockdown. Eating the counter, forcing Walters to take the lead. And that was the first big left hook of the fight that Donaire has landed. The first time Walters tasted his power. So now they both tasted one another's power and the Ten fight seconds. will Stop pursue the bell, at seconds. this point. Good long jab from Walters in this round just now. <laughs> both fighters trained by Stop their fathers. Very good call by the referee. You see this left hook to the shoulders. Followed by a right hook to the shoulder, did not make contact with Nonito's head, therefore was not a knockdown, clearly a slip. Great call by the referee. In this in this ring, in this stadium, he was the main event headline fighter those nights. Just trying to get Donaire back with that hook when Donaire lands his. Well, Good left hook to the body by Donaire. Yeah, you see the experience of Donaire. And in terms of one punch knockout power in boxing, Donaire's hook to the head is as good as any. Donaire getting in a right hand to the chin of Walters. See a guy, Nicholas Walters, who's young, but up and coming, trying his best to come out and compete with the more experienced, highly veteran guy in uh, Nonito Donaire. These two guys are playing for keeps. Hard body shot by Donaire. Walters says it was below the belt. Raul Caiz immediately. Sa uling sampung segundo nga po ay, nakatama ng left hook ang ating kababayan na sobrang nagpa-apekto sa balanse ni Axman. Ngunit dahil nga po sa kakulangan nito sa oras, na save by the bell po itong si Axman. Walters. Yeah, he's not here to play games, Jim. He's trying to win. I think Donaire is cut Ten now. seconds, stop at the bell. Hard right hand by Walters. Body shots by Walters. Got in a right cross. Jab lands for Walters. Left hook for Walters and left hook for Donaire. Second left hook hurt Walters. Never hook with a hooker. <laughs> Sayang nga po ang pagkakataong ito. Kung may natira lang po sana na ilang segundo, ay baka natapos ng ating kababayan ng laban. Dahil ang suntok nga po na tumama kay Nicolas, ay siyang pamatay na suntok ng ating kababayan na nagpabagsak sa karamihan. At sa pagpasok nga po ng round 3, nakatama ng solid right uppercut si Nicolas at nagpaalog kay Nonito. Agad naman po siyang nakarecover at nagpatuloy lang po ang bakbakan. Dito nga po ay mapapansin na natin na ginagamit ni Nicholas Walters ang kanyang reach advantage at nagbabato na din ng maraming jab. Walters sticks his jab. Walters has had success whenever he's thrown that jab. There it is, long distance, keeps Donaire at range and snaps his head back. Yeah, he has a good left jab. If he had a good right hand, imagine he'd have a, a Donaire would have a real problem in front of him right now. See, a right hand is kind of a slapping right, not as straight as a left hand. Left. Oh, 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 that was a good was right good hand. enough to knock Donaire down. That was not a slap this yes. time. That was not a slap, Seven. no way. He brought it up and under a little bit and got it onto the chin of Donaire and that is the first knockdown of Nodito Donaire's career. Very smart in the front right of the cut. So now both fighters have had a big moment. Walters just a little bit better because he got Donaire to the canvas. That jab setting everything up for Walters. Good left hook by Donaire. Walters lands the right hand again. 
Yeah, they're both going for back dash to keep the hands down. You see Donaire's hands were up right there. But the uppercut came right down the middle. He couldn't see it because his own left hand blocked his vision. Once again, you see him going. The right hand came from behind the left hand that's up. So the left hand blocks the vision, and the uppercut sneaks right up the middle. It's abundantly clear to this point who wins a jabbing contest. Must Donaire at some point make a decision about whether to go in closer and try to fight on the inside? Well, that eye is not looking good, Max, and Walters is definitely making it worse with that long jab. Yeah, Donaire's going to have to make quick decisions in the next few rounds. Yes, he His is. His right eye is cut and not getting any better. He's losing the dab little, jabbing little, contest little. to a longer fighter, and he's been knocked down for the first time in his career. Actually, he needs some drama. Shoulder up with him, shoot a jab at him, do something to make him go backwards. If not, that's going to continue to happen. Can't just let a man come at you free willing. And that means free willingly without having to worry about a punch. So what, what Donaire needs to do at some point is stand his ground. What are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? But he, he isn't throwing body shots though, Jim. That's Bob, that's puzzling to me because the younger fighters looking like the more seasoned or more veteran fighter. The younger fighters throwing body shots and head shots. The veteran is the one forgetting the head shot, forgetting the body shots. Donaire speared Walters with a right hand in there. That's what got the crowd's attention. Spears him again with the right hand. Walter's left hook not as effective at close range like that. Quick left hook inside lands for Donaire. But Donaire now Walters careful. lands another in return. And exchanging hooks. But Donaire has to be careful in here because he's the guy with the bad eye. And he's the guy who seemed worse affected by those left hooks just then. And he's still not throwing any body shots. There's a Walters uppercut again. So Nonito Donaire so far is giving Nicholas Walters a vacation to the body. Kid, uh, Walters is still going to Nonito's body every chance he gets. Good body shot there by Nonito. But you see Nicholas come right back with it. Inside, Donaire at least has chances. When Walters keeps him at the end of that jab, there's not a lot Nonito seems to be able to do. That's my point, Max. That's why I said you got to either get close to him or start punching more. We can't keep backing up like this, though. He said everybody is Roberto Duran. Oh. They all fight with the same energy. He actually gets more, more, more uh, experience in these fights, Jim. He got so Double much experience in the fight against Victor Chilean until it's unreal. Donaire's got to come up with a big hook here. Because Walters is beating him up on the rope in the fight. He started th throwing some good straight right hands against Donaire when Donaire's back was on the ropes. Yes, he did. When he had it pinned against the ropes, he threw really good right hands. Donaire admitted to us yesterday that in the Darchinian fight, in between rounds after Darchinian hurt him, he was thinking about quitting, but his body wouldn't let him. And at a certain point in this fight, if he can't change the fight, you wonder if he's going to confront that moment again. That he wants to have a career that will go down in history. That he expects to go from here to 130 pounds and then 135. But all of that thinking could change if this continues to go the way it's going tonight. Well, it's a tough night for him. The young guy's gaining confidence every round. It's pretty rough for a guy like Bernal when it gets hard early. Particularly for a guy who suffers from the talent of the gift that his Donaire does, where he was so fast, he did hit so hard, that he didn't have to learn technically how to do things, maybe as well as a less gifted athlete would have to. And so now doesn't have as much of that to fall back on. No, he is more, he is a better technician than Nicholas. It's just that in pro boxing, sometimes the guy who strikes first or makes the other guy mess up first or mess the other guy face up first, it's the guy that gets the advantage. He just caught Donaire first. He made Another hard right, right hand by Walter. Donaire gets in a left hook. Walters with two more right hands. And Donaire is down again. And I don't know if he'll get up this time, Jim. I don't think he will. I know he won't get up this time, Jim. Seven, eight. He won't get up this time. He's up, but Raul Caiz is going to stop it. At dito na nga po tuluyang natapos ang laban ng tamaan ng solid sa ulo sa bandang kaliwa ang ating kababayan. Sana po ay nagustuhan niyo ang video na to. Hanggang dito na lang po muna. I-Millionaire Sports nga po pala. At muli, salamat.